Hello, Libra. Welcome to your quick and general reading. This is for Feb, right? End of Jan and Feb. Let's see what comes up for you. You have the King and Queen. You have King of Pentacles, followed by Queen of Cups. Very interesting. Let's see what else, Libra. Another King. Oh, my goodness. And Two of Cups. Okay, can we have one more for Libra? What does Libra need to know? We have here Ace of Pentacles. You have very good cards um, that have come up here. Let me just uh, tune in and share a little bit more. Um, you are coming up, you know, showing up for yourself really nicely as being a reliable force, a reliable source for yourself. And the Queen of Cups also, you know, is... Um, she, she's opening you up and you are becoming like the queen of cups being very compassionate tuning into your intuition you also remember and recognize the importance of staying in integrity all right so you're almost like entering a phase of growing up and uh, knowing what is important right and allowing these important aspects of self to flourish it, it, allowing these um yeah important um, aspects of life and within your own consciousness to help you to thrive as a person. And I feel very good about this reading um, because you are also opening yourself up to share. So you need all the confidence, you need all the compassion, the reliability, the discipline uh, to stay in integrity and all that too, to share, to serve, right? And you are coming together very nicely in whatever direction that you're heading, right, in terms of your career or even family life, uh, there is something that you are looking forward to that you are about to embark upon or, or you have thought about it for a long time. You're waiting for the right time to embark on, upon it. And this is um, ever so perfect, right? And, you're, and you are heading into it. Now, a new opportunity will open up for you. The Ace of Pentacles talks about new opportunities and also opening up your gifts, right? And um, let me just get a sip of water. Yeah, opening up your gifts and allowing that to really shine and to flourish. So make full use of the month of February to do this for yourself. I almost said September. I feel like... Um, Making full use of the time in February to do this, and it's going to be a process. And September, for some reason, has a very significant energy here for you. And I feel September is going to take you on another level. All right. It's going to take you um, where you can really then see the fruit of your labor. You know, you are you are starting, you're starting the point now. You're starting the journey now. And September is the time when uh, you will really see it. It becomes very obvious, okay? Yeah, you have the full, definitely, new beginning, okay? New beginning coming up. Um, I feel all these cards are supporting new beginnings, right? And then you have a new opportunity here. Page of Cups, okay? A message to ask of you to tune into your intuitive self and also to look at possibilities in front of you, Um it's okay to be idealistic. Um, the key thing is to remain grounded while you are being idealistic so that you can utilize ideas that come in um, to, you know, you can bring it into manifestation. Now, note also that not every single idea is something that you need to manifest. Some are just ideas, right? I mean, the ideas, one idea takes you to the next and then, you know, it, it helps you to evolve and to grow. And we have the hangman, okay? You will have a change of perspective about something. One of the key things about a hangman, what it rep also represents is uh, the art of surrendering and letting go, okay? So I feel a big part of your process also requires you to uh, let go of what other people may think of you, uh, surrender to the universe, surrender to your higher self, surrender to your higher gifts. Wow, you have all these, you know, completing on one cycle, beginning of a new, all of these things coming together you know, as one. So I feel like February and September um, are going to be very busy months. Okay, so five of ones. 
you may be in conflict about something that is causing a little bit of tension uh, within yourself. Um, you're not sure that there's a sense of uncertainty. Uh, but if you look at the king and queen energies here, right? King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and uh, King of Swords. I would encourage you to really lean into it. Okay, lean into the king and queen energies because... I feel they can help you to see much more clearly and to, I I guess, to ease the tension so that you are not so much in conflict and that you will be wiser in making decisions that will come up. Okay. So, you know, I I like this reading. You know, it's a, it's a really good one. So Libra, uh, those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Shamla Tan and I am a spiritual teacher and intuitive therapist. I do offer, um, besides therapy work, I do offer tarot readings. So if you're interested in a reading, you can uh, book a session, okay? And the uh, details on how to book are uh, below this video. Let's pick an oracle card and see. Let's see what else comes up for you, Libra. And if this message resonates, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, appreciate the energy exchange. Let's see. We have here for you, cast spells, protect and heal. All right, so um, cast spells meaning like do your affirmations or incantations uh, for protection and also to heal. Yeah, I mean, this journey, right? You have the full, you have the new beginning and you have the end. I mean, that's all talking about healing process as well you know in order for us to enter into the next phase of our lives we we do need to heal right we do need to heal from what may be holding us back so very important to keep that in mind as you journey forward let's see from the angel oracle what do we have for libra this is the archangel oracle do we have a message for libra okay and here it says, caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. This is wise advice. And I feel it's also very specific to some of you. Uh, maybe some of you are about to make a major life decision, but you need to hold on and get more information before you step further. Okay, let's get another one since that one was a little bit more specific. Okay. Uh, to help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. This is Archangel's Grace and Antoinette. Okay. Now, um, I feel like you need one more oracle. Let's see. From this deck, what do we have? For oh, Libra. Libra. What's up for Libra? What does Libra need to know? Okay. And here we go. We have here, does my life have room for more pleasure and play? That's finding balance, isn't it, Libra? Okay. Um, today's soul action, what would happen if you added more play and laughter into your life? What area is lacking this right now? Take time to play, let go of any need to produce anything. You need some time off, right? Need, you need some hermit time. This reminds you of that. Okay. All right, Libra, I hope that this uh, message has served you well. I will speak with you again very soon. Um, take good care and uh, bye for now.